We're in Springfield, Missouri, and today we've brought along a letter from one of our loyal viewers. Dear Mr. Quinones, when I was about seven years old, my mother, who was Peruvian, was verbally attacked while speaking Spanish to a friend. This moment scarred me for life. Discrimination against Hispanics, it happens all too often. Take the case of Sebastian de la Cruz in Texas. After singing the national anthem during the NBA Finals, ugly tweets flew saying that Sebastian, born in San Antonio, must not be an American. One tweet read, this kid is Mexican. Why is he singing the national anthem? You're not American. Go home. What do you say to people who have such hatred in their hearts? Well, to the people that do have hatred in their hearts, I just want to tell them that they should think before they say things. Sebastian speaks and sings in fluent English. But what if you have trouble speaking the language? We've set up our control room at the Springfield Brewing Company. How will people react when they witness a Hispanic mother and her young daughter confronted by intolerance? But you don't speak American? Jeremy is an actor. Oh, well, why don't you go somewhere like Taco Bell where they speak Spanish? Alexandria speaks fluent English, but not her mom. What would you do? ¿Qué deseas comer? Um, probably, oh, 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 the all-American burger. Eh, ¿Te gustaría eh, a big kid burger? Um, o esta. With that, Jeremy's ugly stares turn into ugly words. Hey, why don't you use English? It's America, use English. All-American burger. 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 You don't deserve an all-American burger. <laughs> Maybe an all-Mexican burger. Or huevos rancheros or something. Immediately, this woman is off to find the manager. A guy over there, like, being really rude to a little girl who's speaking Spanish. He's like, this is America. Meanwhile, Jeremy turns to young Alexandria. Listen, young lady, why don't you take your mama to Taco Bell? She go by the number one, two, three, six. Well, he'd love them a lot better if they were in their own country. That's all I'm saying. By now, both tables surrounding our mother and daughter have spoken to the manager. But for these two women, that's not enough. We have spoken to the manager, and they're going to do something about this. Okay. Sorry, you guys had to deal with that. You okay? All right, I'm going to break it. As we head in to introduce ourselves, both Jill Holt and her daughter are in tears. Well, she's going to Italy in a month. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I couldn't handle it if you're in Italy and you're treated like that. You said you're okay, you're an American. Yeah, and she's an American too. <laughs> I was like, she deserves to be in the country just as much as everybody else. Even our actress, Lorraine Rodriguez, is touched. You were in tears. Being that my mother came here, and she encountered the same thing, but there was no one to step in for her. To have you step in is a bit emotional. <laughs> but today, so many people are acting like family. It's with ice. What oh, you know, ice. 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 <laughs> hey, miss. Miss. Excuse me. If you can't order in English, I know, but she ain't speaking English. That's ironic, ain't it? <laughs> Your white salad should be right up. Great. And we well, don't I, have I guess it ain't too late for Cinco de Mayo. Mm. These people come over here, they take our jobs, and then they don't even have the decency. Let me go to you. Let me go to you. I got to be clear about that. Just to yourself. I, I, I don't. I don't want to. This is America. Right? So they should speak American. Nope. It's English, not American. What do you mean? The language name is English, not American. Our mother steps away, and that's when Jeremy once again goes just too far. Hey, sweetheart, you you should you should teach your mama how to how to speak English. Hey, you know? So she understands bro, it. She doesn't need, she doesn't need your advice. No, I'm just, if you got anything to say, don't not not yeah. right to Why me. are you defending these people? Sit down, man. Take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. 
Look. She speaks English. It's just, you know, she has an accent. Right now, don't worry about it. And if uh, you say something again, then we got your back. Thank you. We got your back. We got you. <laughs> They've got her back. And Jeremy has had enough. Miss, you can cancel my order. I ain't sitting around here with a bunch of foreigners. And you know, you watch out someday, they're going to take over country. You're going to be, you're going to think of this moment, and you're going to be sorry. You're a very ignorant person, but see you later. Man. Mark my words. Buenos dias. We're rolling one last time. It's taking five hours because you don't speak English, can't read the menu. Well, you when you go to the it turns out the Breckner family, like all of us, has an immigration story of their own. Because her dad, grandpa did come over. He worked hard to learn English. But he spoke English. Because they... He came over here. He did not know one word of English. We are a country of people from all around the world. You really believe that? Yes, I do really believe that. I believe that, too. It's a landlock of two Really? Seriously. Does she look American? Does she look American? Oh, heaven forbid. What does America look like? Your family's not American. Let's be honest. You're not Native American. And if you were, you wouldn't look white. I'm, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Foreigners are ruining the whole country. And now, a kind invitation for our Spanish-speaking mother and daughter. Would you want to join us for lunch? Civil See if there's a table for service. Okay. okay. It's a touching moment. Time to pull a few more chairs up to the table. I'm John Quinones, and this is the TV show, What Would You Do? <laughs> They're actors. You are still in tears. What were you thinking? It's very rude, and you should not think that way because you don't know what you're from. And this is a country full of people that aren't from here. We're the melting pot of the world, and you should accept people for who they are. But if you don't like the fact that they speak another language. That's absurd. <laughs> Throughout the day, so many people stood up and answered that all-American question. ¿Qué harías tú? What would you do? Hi guys, John Quinones here. Thanks so much for checking out our YouTube channel. There's so much more to see. So click on this red button down here, the one that says subscribe, and you won't miss another what would you do moment. Enjoy.